and we're back to learning Inkscape and this time I'm going to show you how to create a leaf logo. Let us create a basic shape using the ellipse tool, I hold ctrl to have a circle, then I press ctrl D to have a copy and I hold ctrl when I drag it to the right hand side. And we get rid of the fill by clicking on the X and I hold shift and click on the black color swatch, we can see the stroke. We position it, we need the intersection. We can transform it afterwards, don't hold any keys and you can make it a bit thicker. Use the notes tool for the bottom point, but hold control when you drag it upwards. That way it stays in the center position. Can still transform it afterwards, but I'm fine with this one. Press Ctrl R and you've got your rulers and you can drag a guide out of there and put it to the center. We will use the Bezier tool right here, B is the short key for it. Go from top to bottom, then press S. That deselects the Bezier tool and I've got a snapping enabled over here. As I've said, B is the short key for it. Use it again, left click and hold control. I will use this angle. Again, I press S, then I press control D to copy it and I flip it and I reposition it. I hold shift, select both and then I press control D to copy them. Now select them all, object, align and distribute. And you can see I've made a mistake. So let me delete these. That was my fault. Instead I want to select these two elements, then I go to path and combine them first. And now I press Ctrl D and create copies. Drag them down while you hold Ctrl. I think that four copies, so five in total should be fine. Select them all and then use this distribution function. And now that's what we want. Let me reposition them slightly. I'll go to object, fill and stroke. And I'll change under the strokes that width, the thickness of these, and I want to have a round cap. If I don't have a round cap, I've got these gaps right here. And there's also a line in center that we shouldn't forget. Let me make that 10 as well. And I give it a round cap once more. Alright, I select it all. Then I hold shift and click on the leaf in the background to have it deselected. I click on combine. So this is what we want to have. And we want to use these as cutouts for the leaf. And the easiest way to achieve that is to go to path, then combine for everything. Then path, stroke to path. And afterwards select it all, path and break it apart. And now you should be able to drag this one out of there. And the shape that we've got in the background is exactly what we wanted. And we can now hold shift, click on the two elements left and right and give them the same fill color. So you can see the thickness of the stroke that we've added has now created these cutouts. So if you want to make them thinner, the cutouts will be thinner as well. Once you've got what you want, just select it all, Ctrl G, and I'll delete all the guides. And this is how you can create this leaf logo in Inkscape. I hope this video was helpful, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.